In this presentation, we will take a look at inherent risk assessment as it relates to the revenue process. So when we consider inherent risk, you'll recall that inherent risk is going to be one of those risk factors we need to consider with regards to internal control and the assessment of how much substantive testing we will need to do for a particular process. This process, of course, being the revenue recognition process. I typically think of the inherent risk as the risk that nobody really has any direct control over. It's just inherently risk, the inherent risk of the type of thing that we are looking at. It's just in the type of thing we're looking at. So in other words, if you were to remove the internal controls, the inherent risk is just the inherent risk of that type of thing, which is going to be the reason that we put the internal controls in place and will help us to guide what type of internal controls would be in place. Now, of course, the inherent risk then is something that the auditor doesn't have direct control over. It's something that the business has some control over kind of monitoring by putting in types of internal controls and by choosing what type of business they are in. So in other words, of course, different types of industries will have different types of inherent risk. So the business has chosen the inherent risk to some degree by choosing the type of business, the type of industry that they are involved in then they can mitigate that inherent risk through things like internal controls. So when we consider the inherent risk, then we want to think about what is the inherent risk process here so we can think about the effectiveness of the internal controls with relation to mitigating that inherent risk and as a factor to consider how much testing we need to do in terms of substantive testing. So with regards to the, the revenue recognition process, we have factors related to the industry. So what type of industry are they in? Some industries are just more inherently risky with the revenue recognition process. And there, and there could be different components within that risk, such as, you know, we might be in a type of industry that uh, has a high degree of non-payment of the receivables. That just might be the type of industry they are, are in. They might have a high, a high degree of sales and a high degree of bad debt or something like that. We want to know what the inherent risks are related to the factors of the industry that they are in. Complexity of revenue recognition uh, uh, issues. So how complex is the revenue recognition process that we are taking into consideration? It's a pretty straightforward type of revenue recognition. We, If we're in a store and we give the goods and they pay us cash at the same point in time, that's a pretty straightforward type of process, not too complex. If we have accounts receivable involved, a bit more complex. If we have shipping now involved, a bit more complex. If we think if we have things like cash discounts involved, that's going to be a bit more complex. If we have a lot of returns and allowances types of things, again, things are starting to get a bit more complex within the, the revenue recognition process. The difficulty in auditing transactions and account balances. So how, how hard is it for us as an auditor to be going through and auditing the actual transactions uh, and the account balances? and the misstatements detected in the prior audits. So we're gonna take a look at the prior audits. We're gonna look at the number of misstatements that were detected within them. And that will give us an indication that if there's a lot of misstatements last year, <laughs> then, then we're probably gonna say that we wanna, there's a higher inherent risk involved at, at this time.